right, folks. I had to stop and show you guys this real quick. Check this guy's car out. He's got the Jason license plate. He's got a Jason sticker. I don't know if you can see in there, but he's got Jason seat covers. I thought that was pretty dang cool. Later, folks. All right, folk. It is Saturday buffet, and uh, we just got done with our shopping and everything. Ooh, I got a uh, 400 watt inverter. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. And uh, got the buster done shopping. Yep. And we got what did we get there? The Baconators from Wendy's. We have not been to Wendy's for a while because. A, we can't go in for whatever reason. You can go in every restaurant around here to order except for this Wendy's for some reason. And second, due to the fact that we can't go in there, if you remember correctly, my window wasn't coming down. So we couldn't go to the drive-thru here. So we haven't had a Baconator in quite a while. So we decided to heck with it. Saturday buffet, it's Baconator time. So we are going to chow our big diesel Baconators. Our awesome... Frenching fries, and we'll get back a hold of you later. Have a good one, folk. Hey, folk house things. Well, it was so nice out. We actually got into shorts today, and we got the muscle shirts. So it was nice out today. Very nice. Um, supposed to be, believe it or not, it was beautiful today. We were uh, in, in like mid 70s or whatever, and uh, um. We have a we have rain coming from down south. We got a cold front coming, so you can actually feel the air cooling down. It's a, it's a pretty nice breeze, you know the, the type of breeze you wish you had when it, when it's like 80, 90 degrees out, but there's no breeze at all. But anyways, yeah. So we got this nice breeze coming, and we're gonna have rain tonight. It's supposed to start around midnight or something like that. So we're gonna have a rainy day, which makes it a perfect day for laundry. But today I went out and about and. I scored this thing right here. 400 watt inverter. And um, it's a cheapie from Walmart, but I figured it would do the job for now. I do not have a lot of power needs, and I really, in all honesty, the only thing I really use it for is to uh, charge things. Like uh, I got the DVD player charging right now. I wanted to charge it the other day at someone's house, um, but they were being attitude y. So uh, I ended up saying to heck with this, and um, I went, got the inverter so I could do it all myself uh, without having to worry about asking somebody else if I can use their electricity. But uh, so I'm all good. I can charge that now. That's been charging for about almost three hours. I, I think over a little over three hours. So hopefully the little red light turns blue soon. But I'm going to watch Deep Impact tonight and uh, just kick back and watch a movie, try and get caught up on a few videos first and then I'm gonna watch a movie the heck with it I don't think there's gonna be anything on TV um, yeah so the end of it, I'll, I'll show you real quick let me spin you around yep so there it is we got that hooked up like I said nothing big but uh, it's good enough for the uh, power needs uh, and to do what, what I needed to do for now so uh, yeah I'll spin you around Oh, and another thing, folk, I wanted to share with you is this right here. If you can see it good, Lesser Evil. It's organic popcorn. And uh, Brother Wallace at uh, Street Farm Ministries was giving me this. And uh, th I told him this is the best popcorn I've ever had in my life. It's called Lesser Evil, or it's organic. But the funny thing is, we were reading it the other day, and it says, with organic, grass-fed, clarified butter and Himalayan salt. So we were thinking, what the heck is grass-fed? Corn's grass-fed? And as I read it, right before I was going to tell, tell you guys about this, um, I kind of fed grass-fed, clarified butter. Could the grass-fed mean that the cows that produce the butter or whatever? I, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But uh, anyways, this stuff is awesome. And I also have over here another one. Let me grab it. And this is the one that actually I want to review for you guys. Is this one another? It's Lesser Evil. 
boom, and it's white chocolate, and hopefully I say this right, white chocolate and matcha. Uh, matcha is an ingredient, I guess, that is in green tea or something like that. So anyways, boom. I'm going to try this out. We're going to see how it is. I haven't tried this one. Hold on. Be right back. All right, folks. So we are reviewing, like I said, the Lesser Evil um, Organic Popcorn White Organic Coconut Oil. It's done in and white chocolate and matcha. I think I'm saying that right. Mm. Yep, that's a win. And uh, the other one that I showed you just now is just uh, the regular like uh, uh, butter flavored popcorn, and it's excellent. And um, <coughs> the other one I had before, I'm not sure it was uh, Himalayan salt. Again, it was a uh, coconut oil, and uh, I'm just not sure like what kind of popcorn it was. If there was a special you know flavor or something. But it was great. It, it was great. So, anyways, I guess this company's in Danbury, and uh, called Lesser Evil, and their stuff is awesome. It's uh, USDA organic. Let me give you some of the hoity toity sayings on here. Um, we'll spin it around. Yeah. Okay. So USDA organic, 100% air popped. It's organic, grass fed. Good source of fiber, 38% less fat, 67% more fiber, 21% fewer calories, and it's got a cool, like, story on the back, if you guys ever want to check it out. So, anyways, Lesser Evil, Popcorn, and no, I'm not being sponsored by these guys, they're just awesome. So, anyways, yep, so that's going to be about it, folks, for today. Um, it was a pretty cool day. Pretty cool um, Saturday buffet with a butster as usual. But, uh, yep, gonna chow me some of this awesome popcorn. Uh, DVD player is charging and watch me a good movie, Deep Impact. And uh, get caught up on a few videos and I'm gonna call it a day. So uh, until next time, don't forget, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down.